their names that they're trying to join the meetings with are Shaylin, Slave, things like that. They're mm -hmm. Destiny fans who are mad that I wrote this report about him. This is their attempt. Is Kidology autistic? What the fuck? This is so blunt. Podcasters and executives, they ain't gonna watch a film about Destiny. They're not gonna read a transcript about him either. True. True! My question to you, just, I'm so sorry. My question is... Yes, I knew your opinion months after you'd sent me that DM with absolutely no context, with absolutely nothing. Just saying that you implore me not to speak to him or engage with him and that he yes. will harm me. He's also warning people that haven't interacted with him not to interact with him. Oh my god. Exactly. I don't think you would do well with the Destiny harassment. What? Treatment. I don't think <laughs> you would do well <laughs> with... You're not, you're not asking me any questions about why I went down the route. You're clearly defending Destiny. I mean, most of this conversation is... You no, I'm not defending me. Destiny. I don't know Destiny. Yeah, this is just like Wick. You're just saying the same stuff as Wick. I already had this conversation. Anyway, you asked me why I don't want, why I don't want to have this conversation because they're all they feel all the same to me. I think if you get an invitation to discuss this on the stream, I think you should decline it. Politely. Salutations. Salutations. Hello. How hot okay. is Okay, how long is it into it? Does anyone know? Oh. <laughs> Seeing your screen. It's like you're sharing your screen with So me. apparently there's loads of tech issues. I don't know like if I'm, I should watch that. I see my... I've probably got to skip that. <laughs> Ready. Okay, it looks like they fixed it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. My sincere apologies for oh, all no. of that. Uh, I know I was really late. Also, I didn't. I said I got the time wrong. We're in, guys. No, no, it's absolutely fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> yes. Uh, how are you, Max? Uh, I'm a little stressed out. Because of this, or uh, just in no. general? No. In okay. general. Okay. Oh, okay. So she, she, so there's a way you can access the call, and she leaked it, and people were joining. Is that what happened? Yeah, it's been a rough couple of months. I can tell. I can tell. Yeah, I'm sure. How are you? Jesus Christ, man. I'm. I'm doing okay. I think. Uh, I don't know. A bit lost, but aside from that, uh, I can't complain. Really. Uh, yeah. Those people have it harder than me. But yes, it's good to see you again after a year. Yeah, it's been a while. You uh, you asked me to do a stream and you didn't respond when I said yes. So I was completely confused about the status of our relationship. But I think um, I've known people like you before. I've known people who act like this. So I have some kind of framework for understanding your behavior. My behavior, yes. Um. Well, because yeah. when we first met, I was like, oh, cool, we'll be like friends. But now I see you're, if you're going to just disappear for a year, that are hard to be friends that way. But we can, you know what? When you want to pop in to my life or my stream, you just let me know. The door is always open. I won't hold it against you. Yes, I don't really know how to navigate. Relationships. Yes, I don't know how to uh, navigate, uh, I think, virtual relationships. Okay. Okay, sorry. Whoever keeps calling, please stop. <laughs> oh, no. no. Oh, there's somebody who keeps calling on my end. I don't know who they are. Where are they calling you on? Oh my god. Actual adults. This is this is uh, petrifying. Yeah. You know what's funny? You know these are all Destiny fans doing this? How do you know that? Oh my god. Well, the person who let in scream BGG for life. Their names that they're trying to join the meetings with are Shaylin Sexlave. Things like that. They're mm -hmm. Destiny fans who are mad that I wrote this report about him. This is their attempt to defend him. Uh is there anything worth defending precisely oh my I mean, god in terms of the article it feels that everything is sort of out there or has been out there already <laughs> there was nothing necessarily new or anything that's going to at least based on the response oh, uh, man. end his career well they're very defensive all the same okay does max doesn't seem to understand how trolling works he doesn't seem to have like even a grasp of what trolling is so it could be that these are hardcore Destiny fans. Some of them possibly are. But there's also going to be people that are just watching from the sidelines and going to see an opportunity to fuck around and troll and they'll take advantage of it. <laughs> Shailen sex. That's like... I disavow. But they actually think by harassing you, they're defending him. It's mm -hmm. kind of weird. Yeah. Yes. If it is them. It's uh, them. Okay. It's them. They're everywhere. I think Destiny's watching this right now, according to my chat. It's them. <laughs> right. Okay. Well. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I don't. Just be aware. You're, spe you're speaking to it. You're speaking to a live audience of several thousand people, possibly. Oh, really? They they saw my my failed uh, attempts at. <laughs> yeah. 
I think everybody in the space to some extent is mentally ill and I think you know an audience I don't necessarily hold streamers or YouTubers or whatever responsible for the degeneracy and stupidity of their audience that's a bit too fine and ask uh, yeah yeah do you uh, yeah how do you think that's possible like remotely possible to actually oh, modify that kind of moral Christ, standing she's going and in. position uh, well he encourages it so it's, they're, they're doing his bidding like they always do you saw, you saw, he doxed the girl on Twitter the other day and then went on stream and said, yes, I doxed her. I was gathering information about her for the purpose of harassing her. So mm. it, it, his fan base is intentionally weaponized and used for the purpose of harassing Interesting. Her. Once again, Max's speciality, completely removing the context of a situation to make someone sound as bad as possible. Brilliant. Really. Good meme. So for you to say, well, we can't hold people accountable for what their audiences do. Maybe there's some cases where that might be relevant, but I, I don't think so in this one. I do think it's relevant. I think it's it's impossible. It's absolutely impossible for somebody to actually be responsible for their audience, for a bunch of strangers who they don't know. Even if you direct. command them to, there's still that agency of those individuals to do it or not to do it. Uh, oh yeah, I'm not saying that the individual. You don't think it's so? If I if I direct my audience to harass someone, you don't think I have any responsibility for them doing it after I tell them to? I think a streamer can add fuel to a fire that's already been lit by somebody who is ultimately looking for uh, an outlet or a go ahead for something that they would do with any other streamer, any other situation that uh, mirrored that. I don't think you can necessarily take responsibility for that's the actions of take. somebody. If somebody tells, tells you to jump off a bridge, I think that you jumping off the bridge probably says more about uh, you and things that are going on in your life mm -hmm. than it does about that individual who gives what you that final push. I'm not really asking who it says more about. I, just, it may I say, think that's important, nonetheless. I don't think it essential. is. I think it's completely irrelevant. Like if a police officer, if a, the chief of police tells um, every officer in the, your local police department to ar arrest you, and they do, without evidence, you don't think the chief of police has any responsibility in that case? Or would you say that that's more, a more structured relationship where they're expected to do what he says? I wouldn't say as much responsibility as you seem to, in this case, give Destiny credit for. Uh, I think a lot of this takes away the important agency of all individuals. It takes away the responsibility and the agency of the mob, which I think is very important not to. Otherwise, oh, it just gives impetus to the mob. Sure. I'm not, yeah, I'm, I don't mean to say that they're blameless. I'm just saying that I think he's abusing his platform by commanding his audience to harass people. Do you think that there is any kind of moral, universal moral standing that can possibly be implemented onto people? Because surely, don't we all? abuse and manipulate and milk our platforms the other problem the other problem with this take as well is i don't know i mean i think a lot of the time if you are telling people to harass someone that generally is going to be against the terms of service of any platform and i think that you're going to get clapped for that generally i can't remember what destiny said in those tweets about the person but uh, i don't know if i would consider it telling his audience to harass people to me, to me, it would be bringing up an account and going, everyone, go and harass this person. Go and give them shit. Go and DM them. Go and da da da. I just don't know if that that happened. Thank you for the thank you for the two pounds. Why Here's don't that. women think of Max Here's when that. they can send SMH? True. Oh, advantage. Sure. Are you suggesting that because there is oh, a shit, spectrum of so, abusive behavior that we're all on, that the word abuse shouldn't be used to describe one person more than another? I think it can be used, but I think it needs to be used very carefully. And I don't believe that you have used it as carefully as I think you think you have. For instance, when people say that you and Shailen are in an abusive relationship. Shailen. Apologies. Shailen are in an abusive yeah. relationship. Ooh. Right. Right. Yeah. That's based purely on what they see that. and what they determine to be abusive. You and Shailen. That's, that's, any, that's what anybody would base their. Yes. But do you see your relationship as abusive? Sometimes. But do you see it as abusive to the extent that uh, Shailen is in a domestically abusive situation? No. Exactly. But people blame you for that and claim that you are in that kind of relationship. But that's something that nobody is privy to aside from you and Shailen. So That's not true, though. I make them privy to it. I think it's totally reasonable for people to draw conclusions about my relationship based on the things I show them. I'm, I'm giving people a window into our relationship. And if they look through the window and they think it's abusive, then I think that's... Me, you're conflating me agreeing with their assessment that it's abusive, which I don't, with me thinking they shouldn't be able to make the assessment. I don't... I think it's fine if they want to make the assessment. I just don't agree with it. But I, I wouldn't say that they're not being careful with the word. I just don't agree with them. But isn't that then the same with regards to destiny? 
the fact that you've made the assessment that he shows this pattern or this routine of abuse of young female streamers and of his platform. Mm -hmm. But then yes. what is the point in the, in the report if it isn't to then persuade others that, that this is, is what point. is going on? Yeah, but it hasn't point. worked. Is Kidology autistic? What the fuck? This is so blunt. This is the bluntest one yet. Is Kidology a destiny orbiter as well? Uh, well, I don't think I don't think the report is going to persuade his the kind of person who is like, oh, if Destiny wants me to find the workplace of this girl so he can harass her, I will help him do that. And if he doxes people on Twitter, I will defend him doing that. His core fan base, um, the, the most like mobilized people who are going to speak the loudest about how they view the report, the people who are going to read the whole thing immediately on day one, or who are going to say they read it but didn't read it, I don't think it's going to convince many of those people. But I to say it hasn't worked, I don't know. I don't know that's true. I think um, I think it might just be maybe working just fine. I think it's difficult for me, uh, and I'd say for others to visualize this and visualize these core individuals or this core group of followers who do Destiny's bidding because we can't really put a face or a name to any of these individuals. Like if there was sort of this presentation of uh, sort of these regular posters and you named them and we saw their posts and saw what they did and there was sort of um, a paper trail of their activity showing that they were systematically doing what Destiny wanted them to do, say, mm -hmm. it would be far more believable. But right now it feels as if you're chasing ghosts and you expect us to see the same ghosts as you. Um, and I can't. Have you, have, you seen, have you seen my subreddit lately? Not lately. Well, not today. No. But have you seen it in the last few months? Um, yeah, yeah, like last month. Okay. Have you noticed that it is mostly populated by angry Destiny fans defending him, attacking me? I yeah. Think, I don't think naming the individual people would be very. Seem That's in your hands, mate. Why don't you moderate your dis? You fucking put it then. I don't know. It's <laughs> moderate your Reddit then. You've got the tools to stop that. You can ban people from your Reddit with a click of your fingers. But no, he's got... Because he's bought in so hard to this Reddit meme, he can't do that. And he's just got to sit there and complain about it. Fuck me, man. That's not good for Max either. We know how he feels about Reddit. We know how this guy feels about Reddit. Seems unethical to call out uh, individual people in a mob. I left all the... But then I mean, that I included, I included goes it. back to the sort of not giving the mob the agency which it needs in order to undermine said mob, surely. Well, if you're writing a report about the about mob dynamics, and then part of the report is we're going to take people out of the mob and show how they, like January 6th, if you're going to say, we, we interviewed a thousand January, January 6ers 6th. and show them, or January 6ers, I don't know how to pronounce that, show them in their... Again, all of these examples you always gives, January 6th. Like, it's so extreme in comparison to what we're dealing with. I might do that as a meme. This guy's doing it for real. Workplaces and with their families and show that these are real people and, and then ascribe agency to why did you do this? Why would you participate in this you know, insurrection? That would be an interesting piece. But the report I'm writing is more about how did Trump influence people to storm the Capitol on January 6th? And in that case, picking out individuals from the horde of people is not really that relevant. It's about how does he signal for something like this to happen and why do people, not why do they follow him, but um, how does he wield his power? So I, I get that you're much more interested in the accountability of each individual member of the mob but that's, the report isn't about, you, you could write a totally interesting paper about why do people participate in brigading and harassment? What is wrong with their lives that makes them think this is like a good use of their time? And who are these, as you're, as you're painting them, ready-made little soldiers who are looking for a parasocial relationship with a streamer to direct them to inflict pain on others? That would be interesting too, but that's not, what, that's not the scope of my report. The report is about how does Destiny abuse his power in this platform? So it sounds like you're both saying I, sh I shouldn't have written it this way and what I did write you don't agree with. Yes, I don't think that this format was, I mean, I, I know you've heard this all. January 6th is 9-11th Holocaust trail of tears perpetrators. Destiny has hit Mr. Girl Psyche with a second play. Before, uh, with the recent interviews that you've been doing. Um, I, I, uh, I think you're a filmmaker and I think that that would have probably been far more in line with people actually engaging, I think, in the way that you would have probably wanted them to engage with your work. I think, and... I think you're thinking of a different audience. The people I want, the people whose attention I want are not going to watch a film about Destiny. His fans will watch a film about him. My fans will watch a film about him. You would watch a film about him. But journalists and podcasters and executives, they ain't going to watch a film about Destiny. They're not going to read a transcript about him either. True. True. If you say so. Okay. I mean, yes. Yes, Kodology is correct. I would argue... 
I would argue that people are more likely to watch a video than they are read a fucking document. Hey, thanks for the two bucks. Max has gone for Vosh, invoking the N word. It was it was just over a hundred thousand words, yeah. I obviously read the whole thing on stream for those of you that don't know. It's all on my YouTube channel. But yeah, over a hundred thousand words. It's a fucking it is a long one. It is a long one. Can I ask why you sent me messages telling me, imploring me not to speak to Destiny, not to speak about him, to engage with him? Uh, yeah. Wait, are you actually asking me that? Mm-hmm. You don't know? No, I don't know. Did you, you said you read the report. You don't know why I think that it's not a good idea for you to interact with him? Oh, my God. I read God. the report and then I ignored you and I didn't do what you said. I went... Oh my Stare god, it's secret memes! Max talks like the weather like today, Max. Hey! Max, when I Thanks was the five boy, pound. I beat my father at chess. There's secret memes! There's secret memes! Don't speak to Destiny! <laughs> Went onto a stream. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm I interacted with him. I'm, I'm, I DM'd with him. Yes. I'm, I'm asking you if I'm, you actually genuinely don't know why I said that to you. Based on my experience with him, I generally don't know. Um, I'm not asking you based on your experience with him. I'm saying based on the 100,000 word report I wrote about the way he treats people that he has falling outs with. Well, surely my experience is important because you said that he shows a systematic pattern of abusing young female streamers, small streamers, and mm -hmm. individuals who are smaller than him who ultimately use him for clout or influence. Are we still uh, on the sexually. question you just asked me? Yeah. Okay, the question was, you said, why did you warn me against talking to him? Mm -hmm. are, and I'm saying, are you sincerely asking me that? Because you read the report, so don't, don't you know why I would warn you? Yes, I'm sincerely asking you that because I don't know because you're caught. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm asking. I I understand if you don't agree with the report, but surely you see the you see the, how I see him after reading it, right? Thanks for nine nine nine. No, I don't because Just I didn't. I really beast. could not hear your voice in the report. The it was like I said. It was like transcripts of streams destiny, of uh, posts and getting your voice in it. There wasn't any Thank you. That appreciate that. Can we just stick to Can we just stick to your question? Can we just stick to what you're asking me? Yep. Okay. My question was just: Do you see? Do you, I guess, yeah, yes, you're saying you don't, you, don't, you don't have it. You don't understand what I think of Destiny. So again, you notice Max is again going to the, well, what about what I think about Destiny? Honestly, the more I think about it, the more I think people just don't engage on this level. People don't engage like in this way. I like the way you think about something is fine in your own head. But I don't think the people in conversations think go along the same lines. And I don't think that people are insistent that you have to see something their way. It's more of like a general conversation about what's what. But it's like, surely you must see that what I think about him here. Come on. Like the introduction to the report. I can't see evidence here, of what you think of Destiny. I'm not asking for evidence. I'm not saying you agree with it. I'm saying yes, reading surely. the intro, even in the first two pages of the report, I say Destiny is highly retaliatory against people, especially people he has sexual interactions with. Anyone who offends him in any way is at risk like did you, did you did you not get that from the introduction that i'm like this guy hurts people yes you said that but then okay. did you prove that no I, I don't think i'm not asking if i proved it i think i proved it you don't that's okay my question to you just i'm so sorry my question is do you understand what i think of destiny after reading the first three pages of the report not do you agree with me i understand you don't do you get what i think of him yes okay and the thing i think of him is that he hurts people he likes to hurt people and he does it a lot Right? I said he's sadistic, he retaliates I'm so sorry. against people, I'm so sorry. he doxes them, he orders his fans to harass them, he humiliates them, he has inappropriate sexual relationships with them. I said all that in the first couple pages of the report, right? Yes. Okay, so if you know, this is what I don't get about your question. If you know that that's what I think of him, what, what do you not get about me DMing you and saying, I strongly recommend that you not talk to Destiny? Okay, well firstly, at the time, I don't know but the thing, okay, the thing is as well, though, is like this is such a useless thing to think about, too, because it's like you could think that if you go outside, you get struck by lightning, right? And then you might message someone and go, don't go at your house, you get struck by lightning. And it's like, why are you telling me to not go outside? Well, don't you see that I think if you go outside the house, you're going to get struck by lightning? And it's like, yeah, but that's like no, do you know what I mean? It's like such a weird way to try and engage that you're, tr you know, trying to see it so hard through the other person's eyes. And to most people, that kind of interaction is going to be seen in very unusual terms and very unusual ways. And people are going to be like, this person's fucking nuts. So what are they talking about? Schizo logic. So true. About, about how you thought about Destiny, all of that, because the article... You asked, me, that you, asked me why I, you asked me why I DM'd you that five minutes ago. 
-hmm. So I'm asking you five minutes ago, if you knew this is what I thought of him, what were you thinking when you said, why did you warn me against talking to him? Don't you know why I warned you? It's fine if you don't agree with it, but I, I would like at least like you to ascribe me my own agency in this conversation to have my own fucking opinion about him. And you know my opinion of him. So of course I'm going to warn you. Yes, I knew your opinion months after you'd sent me that DM with absolutely no context, with absolutely nothing. Just saying that you implore me not to speak to him or engage with him and that he yes. will harm me. And yes. then he didn't harm me. So that's what I'm trying to get at. Well, if you want to say your opinion about it, that's fine. But asking it in the form of a question like you don't know why I warned you is feels disingenuous. Well, so to be fair, based on my personal experience, I don't know why you warned me because my well, I wasn't, I wasn't I wasn't warning you based on your own future personal experience that hadn't happened yet. Then I why did you say that he will harm me? Uh, let, me, let me get my exact words. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I'm well. oh, okay. probably just predicting that that would happen. Whatever your reason is for not talking to me, I cannot implore you enough. Do not talk to Destiny. Do not talk about Destiny. Do not go on a stream. He is a sociopath and he will harm you. That is secret memes. So not only was he digging around in the people that haven't really interacted with, that had interacted with him, he's also warning people that haven't interacted with him not to interact with him. That is fucking insane. That's just what I think. That's my prediction. Does he not see how unusual and odd that is? Like that is a that is fucking schizo behavior. Digging up people that might go on Destiny's stream or and planning to speak to Destiny and messaging them to warn them. That is fucking insanity. And he's like, well, why do you think I are? Why do you think I said that? That's obvious. I think he's I think he's fucking gonna hurt you. <laughs> but the act itself is very odd. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> Stop. Yes, that was a prediction way before you'd written this article, way before anything had happened. I said that on November 27th. Yeah. Well, I was three weeks into my research. Okay. Yeah. So I spoke to Destiny, as you know, and nothing happened. So in terms of this pattern of abuse, of abusing, sort of, I would say that I'm sort of, I'd be a poster child of that in terms of just uh, everything stereotypically that he allegedly goes for um, mentally unstable young woman, small platform, uh, looking for influence uh, community, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, so why is there sort of this pattern of abuse? If there's an then... outlier? Yes, exactly. Yes. Okay. Did you think in my article I was claiming that he 100% does this with every single person he interacts with? That was, I didn't mean to claim that. What I meant is there is a trend for sure. Uh, as far as the falling outs and the dogpiling and humiliation and harassment, it's a pretty strong trend. It's not 100%. But it happens to a lot of people who get close to him and who work with him and who get his attention. It happens to a lot of them. There are There's a large trail of bodies behind him. Not bodies, but um, hurt people, victims. And I didn't want to see you But the thing is, if you're messaging her specifically to warn her away, right? Of course, she's going to, like, the perception is going to be that this is something that happens consistently across the board. Why would you message her if you didn't think there was like an exceptionally high chance this would happen and it would be at least close to an absolute reality of what happens when you're in charge of destiny? One of them. I'd sent you that because I perceive with your um, extreme guardedness, I perceive underneath that an extreme vulnerability. Oh my God. Thing. I don't think you would do well with the destiny harassment. What? Treatment. I don't think you would do well <laughs> with um, the humiliation and dogpiling. I really think it would hurt you. And I was worried about you. You don't even know her. You don't even know her at all. What is this presumptuous, weird psychoanalysis shit? This is mental. And being in the throes of some really horrible pain that I was experiencing at that time and seeing you starting to get closer to him, I was worried about you. I was also worried about your reputation. I didn't want to see you get sucked into defending somebody who I think at some point, I don't know if it'll be my article or, or what it'll report, or I don't know what it'll be, but at some point, I think generally it will be accepted that he is indefensible and he will implode. And I, I didn't want to see you get sucked into standing next to him when that happens. I don't think the fact that you've had a good experience with him for the last five months, make, I, I don't regret sending you those messages. I still would say the exact same thing to you today. I don't think you should talk to him. I don't think you should talk about him. It's not a good idea. It, it's not worth it. Whatever you're getting out of it, it's not worth it. Because I got probably as much out of it as would, as one could reasonably expect to. I guess not as much as Vosh or Hassan. But, you know, I got the career. I got the fame. I got the money. And I wish I'd never met him, hands down. Don't do it. Your friendship, you wish that you'd never had that? 100%. You got nothing from that friendship? That's not what I said. I just said I wish I'd never met him. Oh, no, I'm asking. Did you, get, did you get anything from that friendship or nothing from it? I was... Uh, 
the friendship of like friendly making content together or the three offline conversations we had, maybe four offline conversations we had, we didn't, we didn't have much of a friendship. We didn't like DM about our personal lives or anything. We had a couple intimate. Hang on a sec. I thought this motherfucker was going on about how he was friends with him and he loved him. Wait, he said he loved him. Wait, he said he fucking loved Destiny. And now it's, oh, we didn't talk that much privately. A couple of conversations, a bit of DMs. Okay, I, yeah, I don't know what to tell you, man. I just am lost as to what the relationship truly was there. <laughs> the conversations that were about him, um, I liked hearing about his life. I liked, I loved him, getting to know him. Did I get anything out of the friendship, like interpersonally? Not really. It's like he wasn't in my top 10 people I would go to if I had a problem or needed emotional support with something. So, no. But this really. is, what I is, Mr. Girl, is Mr. Girl just like super parasocial or something? Like the fact he's saying that he loves Destiny despite apparently not actually interacting with him privately that much. You know, he's messaging, he's messaging uh, um, uh, Kidology, to begging her to not go on stream with him. The, the, yeah, him saying I loved him, getting to know him. That sounds like post hoc rationalization of this. Because at the time he said he loved it. Oh, oh Thank you for the 20 bucks. Appreciate you. I find quite difficult. Like, how can you make like these very, very severe moral claims about this individual based on knowing so little about them and about their moral character, like about them specifically? Like knowing them, like one on one, without it being sort of just your interpretation from yeah, just the outside. The same thing as if I wrote a report about Trump, and like if I wrote a paper about Trump, would you be like, "Well, you don't know him, Max"? Yes, but there would be a difference between you writing about, okay, why did Johnny Six happen, relative to is no, Trump a, a sociopath? Did I say he's a sociopath in the report? Uh, you said. Max has called Destiny a sociopath numerous times. Honestly, this is like unreal. The level at which Max is out of just denying things that he said. And then he pivots to, oh, well, did I say it in the report? The, the DM to me, you said he was a sociopath. Oh, yeah. I, after a year of working closely with Destiny, my opinion is that he is a sociopath. Yes. Now, I want, that's not a term I usually use in public. I would usually say he's sociopathic, which is why I told him. Because a sociopath implies that there's nothing inside and that he's like hopeless. And I don't think that's true. I think there is some, I think there is um, an ability to care about other people buried deep down. But for your intents and purposes, he is a sociopath and you shouldn't talk to him. You shouldn't be having this conversation with me. I shouldn't be having this conversation with you. No, you shouldn't do what you're doing. Can you elaborate on that, please? If you don't understand, if you don't, again, if you don't get what I think about him after Max's whole thing of the past few months has been walking back things that he said. So he no longer loved Destiny or loved, you know, loves him or whatever. It is, oh, I loved him getting to know him. So that's changed. Now, oh, actually, I mean, he's sociopathic. I don't think he's a sociopath. I didn't call him that in the report, though. But my interaction with you, I did. It just seems like this kind of endless flood of constant walkbacks, changes, changing his position, but not kind of saying that, not being open about it, kind of trying to do it discreetly. The Harvey Weinstein thing is the best example of this, where he did say that he was like Harvey Weinstein, but now it's either, I think I think he said initially, well, I never called him Harvey Weinstein, and then when challenged on it further, it's, well, what I meant is it's going to be a landmark case. Just very slyly and subtly changing this, changing this, changing this. Report, I really don't know what else to tell you. That's, I've said my piece, that's all I have to say about it. Okay, but surely if I don't know what you are saying, if I'm not getting onto the same page as you, based on your particular- Getting on the same page as me, this, okay, again, but... getting on the, being on the same page as me is different from knowing what page I'm on. Surely you understand what I think of him at this point. I feel, are you just playing dumb? You know what I think of him. You know why I think it's dangerous to talk to him or about him. You know why I think that. I know you know why I think that. So it's fine. Like, can you just stop saying you don't get what I think and just say you disagree with it? Because that's no. But I generally honest. don't, because as I said at the beginning, this is sort of like you are chasing ghosts, and you expect us to see the ghosts. You expect me to see the exact same ghosts as you. I've Thank described you, the ghosts to you. So if you can't see it, you but you know what I'm saying, I see. With me but the important thing is that I believe what you are no, saying. No, I'm, I'm asking you to differentiate. So if I say right now, oh my God, there's an invisible goblin right next to me with big sharp claws, and he's trying to scratch my head off, and then I, I go, I go, ah, I go, don't go over there. And you, it would be very dishonest of you to meme where the guy is speaking in the woman's ear. 
Imagine saying to a normie, so there's this website called Reddit. <laughs> oh, man. True. Thank you very much for the $6.18. Say, why? Whatever that is. Why wouldn't you want me to go over there? What you would need to say is, I understand why you don't want me to go over there. Because you see a goblin. Pound. But I don't see a goblin. I see a friendly little cartoon with blue hair who's nice to people. I get what you see, but I don't see the same thing, Max. And then we can have a conversation, I guess, if you want to, about why we don't see the same thing. That's totally fine. If you, if you want to do that. But what I'm getting caught up on is you keep acting like you don't understand what I've said. And I know you do. Goldberg. I know you get what I think of him. So for the rest of this conversation, could you please do me the courtesy of allowing me to have the agency to have my own opinion? And for us to be honest, that you, you do know what my opinion agency. is. And you know why what somebody with my opinion would tell you, you shouldn't be talking about him. You shouldn't be talking to him. You shouldn't be DMing him. You shouldn't do what you're doing. Okay, we're on the same. You, okay, yeah. okay. I see what you're saying there. I do. Yeah, okay. But surely, what you're trying to get at is for me to see that horrible little goblin there. You don't want me to see this lovely little fluffy blue haired creature. You want me to see the goblin. How am I meant to make the decisions that you are imploring me to make when I don't see what you see? That's you what are. I'm trying to you're get gonna, at. Not, yeah, that's why, you didn't, that's why you didn't respond and that's why you didn't listen to me. You're not the meant goblin. to do things you don't believe in. Goblin so mode. I get why you didn't respond and I get why you're doing what you're doing. All I can do is... I mean, I'm not doing anything. I mean, I'm, I haven't been in contact with Destiny. I just... Uh... You're talking on his stream right now. I'm, not on, his, I'm on my own stream. He, Destiny he, can do whatever he, he wants on his stream. That's, that's, that's I didn't say he couldn't. That doesn't change the material fact that thousands of people of his fans are watching you on his stream right now, which is the exact thing I told you I don't think is a good idea for you to do. They do the so, exact same thing with your content, though. Yeah, they do. I'm not saying they don't. It feels like you're inserting a lot of straw mans here, as if I said Destiny can't watch your stream. He can. That's why I'm warning you against having this conversation. That's why I'm telling you, I don't think you should do what you're doing. I know he can do whatever he wants. I know well, that. then if he thinks that, why is he agreeing to it? Why is he agreeing to have the conversation if he thinks that she shouldn't do it? Like, he's... The, the, unless it, without him, it wouldn't be happening. <laughs> like, literally, it takes two to tango. You don't need to tell what? me. I didn't say he couldn't. I know he watches my streams too. That's why I'm in a unique position to tell you. I don't think this is a good idea. You're saying how can I have this opinion of Destiny after not knowing him that well, but working with him for a year? I probably know him better than you do, right? Oh, of course, definitely. But in okay, terms so of you can, saying, so, okay, but in so terms of you making judgments of his character, literally his yes. character. Yes. That seems well, incredibly no, disingenuous. It's not, it's not really a judgment of his character. Uh, I'm not really telling you like why I think he's a sociopath. It's more, uh, it's that's more a catch-all term to tell you that he hurts people around him. And he does not care about your well-being. He will have power over you, and he will not care if about your well-being. Woman gets even within two is that abuse or is that just being messy in a very public relationship? Well, it depends on what happens in the relationship. But I would say that his behavior, obviously, as you know, is it. I think it's abusive. So what I'm warning you against is that yes, he seems like a nice person at first. He seems reasonable, and then you realize that he's slowly getting leverage over you, in in different subtle ways. And then he starts hurting you once he has that leverage. And then you have to rip off a piece of yourself to escape. I don't want to see that happen to you. Like I've seen it happen to a lot of people. I don't want to see you become one of them. And so just to clear my own conscience, not because I thought you'd listen to me because I hadn't heard from you in months. I just said, yeah, this is, who, who, of course, you're not going to, I, I didn't think you would listen to me, but I had to say it just for my own, my own um, to make myself feel better about what I was afraid I was going to see. I was telling you what I wish somebody had That's told me. That's so weird, man. Some people That's did tell me. So I wish weird. I believed them. Is this about you or is it about the people in your article, the people who you are trying to defend? It's both. It's me trying to clear my conscience, but it's also me trying to help people. Is one more significant than the other for you? No, I mean, ultimately, you want to help people because it makes you feel good about yourself and because it makes you feel less bad about yourself. That's all, all Okay, so all, this all, is what altruism. you're doing. This is how you're doing your altruism. What if Destiny is doing his altruism, but just in a completely different way, based on completely different morals, a completely different perspective of the world and people and how to do that altruism, how to do that helping of people with that sort of balance between doing good for himself and doing right by himself and also, you know, an added bonus of doing good for the other people in his life. I don't see a balance. I see him doing good for himself and him hurting other people systematically, consistently. In fact, I don't even, I don't even think he's ever claimed to do what you're saying he's doing. I don't think he's ever even said he's found a balance between helping himself and helping others. I may, I may, maybe he has, but my understanding is he's pretty transparently looking out for himself. Hmm. There may be a bigger burden of it. See, like when there's a bigger burden of hypocrisy on my end, because I say I'm trying to help people. I'm Mr. Empathy. So then when I do something that seems harmful or unempathetic, I have a lot of questions to answer, as I should. I think that's fair. But I don't see Destiny branding himself or even in vulnerable moments describing himself wanting to help other people around him. I see him saying, yeah, doctor, you would have done the same thing. I would have done the same thing. No, no, that's his defense. Wait, hang on a second. <laughs> Why is Destiny... I mean, listen, I have given my takes on this already, so I don't want to reach out over old ground. I literally... There's a video on my channel where I talk about it a bit. Why is anyone under any obligation to help someone that posts something saying, go and, go and commit battery on this person 
and I'll pay you, even as like a joke or whatever. Why are you obligated to like try and help that person in some way? God, man, it's wild. Just feels like, you know, again, Max has got the wrong end of the stick with like how this works and he thinks it's all about good things, but a lot of it's about content, a lot of it's about the memes. Max embodies the leftist habit of calling everything abuse when the only issue is he just doesn't like somebody. I just think that if Max really didn't want to be part of Destiny's community anymore after the Reddit stuff, he could have exited. He would have been mocked. He'd have been memed on a bit, sure. But he could have just quietly exited and gone and done his own thing. But instead, he did his classic Max move, which is where he's got to create this villain to fight. He's got to create this villain to fight. And uh, yeah, that's what he did. Please take a month off of Max after this. I'm I'm off for the next two days. So I'm just, the main reason I'm doing this is so that DK's got at least some options to choose from for content. Because, yeah, it's a bit lackluster. The new video is doing pretty good, actually, on the Twitch aristocracy stuff. But If you were in my position, if you had all these enemies, all these people against you, harassing you and hurting you, you would have done what I did. I don't see his defense being, I'm helping people. Of our yeah, okay, time that this, is a peculiar comparison because I'd say that yes, he has helped people. I mean, he has done good with his platform in different ways, uh, ways that of course don't align to how you would use you your said platform. He, you said in his life, hmm. interpersonally. I don't. I see him mostly doing damage. The other thing, the other thing that like, look, <laughs> I just it's kind of funny that Max's interpretation of this is all negative where there's definite things that Destiny did to help Max out. I don't know, man. If I'd have given, if I'd have pulled someone up, I mean, certainly, I think that the Nick Fuentes conversation had an impact on how it played out with his channel going down. But then Destiny took action to try and reverse, you know, subvert that and make it so he had something to stream off of, mobilized people within his audience to go to his Patreon, uh, you know, help make sure that he had a website set up, it just it just feels like to completely miss all of that and just talk about the harm is kind of wild to me. Well, surely based on the fact that he has attracted so many people to him in his interpersonal life, which none of us are privy to, like in any way, shape or form. But surely that indicates that there's something about him that people are drawn to, because it isn't as if he's just picking up girls off the side of the road like Andrew Tate. I mean, people have agency. These individuals have agency and have decided yep. to send him nudes, have decided to engage with him sexually. Like they have yep. had that agency, that important agency, which has ensued well, into relationships. So the only, the only stipulation I would make is it's hard to consent to something that you don't understand. So yes, there is agency. They're, they're, you're drawn to not him, but your perception of him. When I was saying he's a sociopath, as I was saying, the way you think he is, is not how he is. Once you get to know how he is, you're going to wish you never talked to him. That's what I was saying. So yes, there is agency in that you're, everybody presents never themselves here, in, in the way they present themselves. We all have a presentation or face we put on. And then when you get to know somebody, you find out the differences between the face they, that they present and how they actually are. What I was trying to warn you about is that the way Destiny presents himself is pretty fucking different from how he actually is in some ways. In some ways, he's actually transparent about being a sociopath. But in others, there, there are ugly surprises waiting for you. And I don't, I don't think you should get involved. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't know, man. I just, I just personally, I just don't seem to have these problems. Maybe it's because I'm not on this stream every fucking, every other day and I'm not trying to be his best mate, but I just don't really seem to run into these problems that Max is talking about here. I kind of feel like I know what I'm getting with Destiny. I don't really feel like I'm, I don't know. I think the problem comes in if you want to try and be his mate. That That is where, you know, obviously the reality of being a friendly or friends with someone versus their public persona is probably going to be different. But then I, I don't know, I guess that kind of applies to everyone. Hmm. Hi, you don't know me and you probably don't know who Destiny is, but let me tell you, you'll be better off not talking to, about him, to him, stream, hang out with him. So, but yes, he's magnetic. People are attracted to him. That's true. Mm, yeah, I guess so. Do you expect anything from Destiny? No, not at all. Not in the slightest. 
I just, you know, Destiny is um, obviously a larger content creator than me. I know that there's benefits that come with like going on a stream, talking to him. And I definitely benefit from having talked to him or associated with him. But um, a lot of the time, I don't know. It's, it's just like, I don't really expect... Like I don't, I, you know, I don't want Destiny's friendship. I don't want to be friends with Destiny. Like, you know, I've got my own shit going on. I think that that Max feels like he kind of wanted to be friends and maybe didn't like exactly what he saw, and now is spinning it all off into this crazy abuse narrative. I don't know. I mean, I don't know Destiny well enough to say whether I love him or not. I mean, I, no, I wouldn't say that because I don't know him that well. I know his public persona. We spoke we sometimes interact in DMs, and I've met him once in real life. We went for lunch together. I say together, that's stretching it a bit. Me and a bunch of people went for lunch and Destiny was there, sat at the end of the table, silently looking at his phone, trying to figure out some problem he had with his stream. And then he fucked off. And that was it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, obviously, he's got his own shit going on. I've got my own shit going on. Like, if we happen to cross paths to make content, great. If not, then whatever. I don't know. But but there was like this, this weird dynamic where people just want to be mates with him, want to be pals with him. I just find that all a bit cringe and it's not really how I tend to operate. But I just, I don't know. It's like, to me, the online space is the online space, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's really weird. People, people like want to be friends with you and stuff. And I'm just like, I don't know. I've, I, you know, I stream, I play video games. I hang out with my, I see my kids. I don't socialize nearly as much as I should. I'm a bit of a hermit. It's not it's not that exciting, you know. Destiny obviously mixes a lot of mentally ill women into his life as well, so that probably is maybe what looks exciting, but I mean, there's a lot of problems that come with <laughs> with doing that, you know? It's like it can look very glamorous. It can look very glamorous from the outside looking in, but Yeah, the online stuff is like a sim simulacra, right? That's the that's the that's the meme, isn't it? We need about the same life. We could be best mates. We, me, and you, and anyone else in chat who wants to give me copious amounts of money, we could be best mates if you give me enough money. Have you thought of editing the article based on the response to it? No, I don't think I, the response to it right now is irrelevant. What, what a bunch of cultists think when you criticize their leader? Doesn't matter. What about the I'll journalists, about... Uh, the executives, the media? Money I, friends. Uh, no comment. Can I ask why there's no comment? Why do you always say no comment to that when asked about that? Um, no. I will say generally, though, I think I hinted at this a moment ago. If somebody with a job and a career is going to read something even four pages long, you know, these people have a lot piling up on their desks. So I don't think going off of the response on Twitter from a cult uh, is that informative. I would say I don't think we have had time to really see what the real response is. You ever seen Titanic? Mm -hmm. Yes. Maybe. So there's a cult of people who believe the ship can't sink, no matter what. The rich people on the top. And there's a significant chunk of time where they're able to continue living that fantasy. I know that the report has had an impact. The ship has hit an iceberg. I don't know what the effect will be. And I think that it's going to take effect. time for that to play out. Thanks for the bucks. So, you don't, they're not the engineers. They're not the people who care, or who can calculate, or I guess, I mean, really, I'm trying to ram the shit. I mean, I, I think there could be maybe some sort of coverage of this, perhaps, but I just think the idea this is like equivalent to the Titanic hitting an iceberg or is comparable to that in some way, or to make this equivalence is, or this, this comparison is wild. <laughs> like the Titanic hit an iceberg, sunk and killed about a thousand odd people. <laughs> one dollar is one friendship point, true. 
But yeah, I mean, I do wonder if he's in communication with people in the press, journalists and stuff like that. I just think if it's if it's if it's industry people, esports types, etc., they're going to be a bit. I would have thought bemused or like not interested in the Destiny stuff because it just isn't substantive compared to some of the other drama. I like think about Mizkiff and the accusation that he was covering up sex crimes. It's it's like this pales in comparison to the whole drama that happened around that. And then beyond that, people in normal press. Hmm. We'll see. Never say never. Yeah, Dexerto, I don't think it picked it up. Dexerto normally would cover stuff like this, streamer drama, shit like that. But into more icebergs and a form of journalist. So maybe the analogy breaks down there. My point is, um, I don't know. If you told me I had already sunk his career, that might be true. If you told me I had no impact, that might also be true. I don't know. I don't think it's apparent right now. I think that it's going to take more outreach from me and time. But I, I wouldn't expect there to be a big response. Um, this is exactly what I expected. I, 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 I don't think the plan has been... Wait, uh, hang on. He's saying outreach. I thought he was going to drop the article and move on. But it sounds like he's looking to do outreach further to this to try and get the word out. I'm foiled or mm. diverted, I think. Getting adult outside expert eyes on this is just going to take time. So hold tight. Be patient. Same thing. Bear in mind, he said similar things about Dr. K. Don't forget, he said similar things about Dr. K as well. To my knowledge, Dr. K is still uh, broadcasting under his name with the Dr. Shit. So, yeah. This will probably be another villain that he doesn't quell and then he moves on to whoever the next person is. Whatever that's going to be. I'd say in six months, if um, there isn't any mainstream attention or nobody else picks this up and runs with it, then I would think, okay, maybe it's time to make it shorter or, or write a different version of it. So about six months time. So think. he's leaving the door open to continuing to... Be oh my God, man. He's going to maybe write a shorter version. Okay. Then I think at, this, at this point, I think this has got... To, listen, as much as there might be stuff that happens, I really do think I'm going to have to just knock this on the head. I really think I'm going to have to knock this on the head. It'll be better when I'm back to my normal stream schedule because I'm having to take an extra day off this week. But fuck me, this is mental. It's got to come to an end at some point. This is crazy, for me at least. I mean, he can do what he wants, obviously. If he wants to spend six months trying to fucking, you know, continue on with this crusade, good luck to him. But fuck me, I uh, don't know if I can cover it all. We'll see. We'll see how good the content is, I guess. Time to start. Uh, yeah, because I would, I would assume I had had, you know, a couple dozen people read it by then. And if they're all telling me, um, this is too long for me to even <clears throat> gain an interest in it, I'm sure. But I mean, I, th I think it's written in a way where like you get what it's about in the first two or three pages. And then the rest is like, if you wanted to run with it, it gives you everything you'd need to do that. So I don't know. I, I don't anticipate that being what I do. I just don't think that the, I don't, I don't care what his fans think of the report. I care what some of them, like it's not that I don't care. Like, of course I care, but I'm saying it's not, it, that's not what, it's not designed to make them change their minds. I, they had their chance. I tried to change their minds and I did change some of their minds, but then, you know, the rift happened and I, I can't speak directly to them really anymore, um, or I don't want to. I just want to get out. So this is right designed those. for whose minds to be influenced? Their parents. Their parents. Yeah. The you, parents. Want why, you want to know why 16 year old Timmy is, is uh, turning into a misogynist? People who are wondering that. How is YouTube affecting my child? Oh, my child is actively participating in the sexual humiliation of women and uh, parasocially identifying with this monster who is, at, who is uh, sucking these Destiny women into Tate. his orbit Stephen with Tate. promises of clout and then slowly emotionally and psychologically abusing them. That's what your kid is. Your kid's not just watching it. They're doing it with him. They're enjoying it. I think there's people who would be interested in understanding this dynamic, who, who would not understand it just at like, you know, they're home from college and they're like, oh, I'm watching this guy. I'm a huge fan. His name's Destiny. He's really cool. Oh, really? What does he say? Well, he says that Kyle Rittenhouse, blah, 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 blah. I don't, I, I want to get um, the adults in the room. So that's who it's for. Okay, I don't see why then you'd go after destiny, say, when you're trying to have a conversation with the parents. There are far more, uh, if we're going to, if I'm going to run with what you're saying about destiny, right? There are far more harmful individuals online with far more influence than destiny could possibly have that are causing a lot more problems for young boys, uh, for uh, young people in general. This is the starving kids in Africa argument. No, no, I don't think it is. Yeah. I think that at this point in time, for instance. What's, what, is your, what is the point of you confronting me about this? About this specifically? <clears throat> no, about the whole report. Why are you doing this? I'm interested in why you have gone down this route because this is a very, very, very different. 
individual to the individual that I spoke well, you're to. Not, you're not asking me any questions about why I went down the route. You're clearly defending Destiny. I mean, most of this conversation is you. No, I'm not defending me. Destiny. I don't know Destiny. I spoke to him once. You don't, think, you don't think that your stance in this conversation has been defensive oh of Destiny? No, it's not. I'm merely critiquing what you've written. I'm critiquing your position because well, I found it difficult based on the one interaction that I've had with Destiny to yeah. gauge his moral character in the way that you seemingly have, to gauge this sort of moral crusade and this position which you have, which you are imploring me to so believe in. I'm not imploring uh, you to believe in it now. Well, you are. I, you were imploring no. me to believe you yes. and to not talk to I don't, I don't, I don't, I really think that he's really stretching at this point to say that, I mean, Kidology is, does not regularly go on a stream, hasn't, to my knowledge, regularly interacted with Destiny. I think, yeah, she's been on once, but she's got a whole own thing going on, her own channel, her own content. Like, none of this content is about Destiny. She's got this conversation with Brittany from a couple of months ago, which not necessarily is even Destiny related. I've not watched it. Criticizing the left. I don't know. What, I don't, how the fuck is Kidology a Destiny defender? Like, she seems to be taking issue with the article on the back of the her own interaction with Destiny. Became a member. Thank you very much for the uh, membership. Appreciate it. Very weird. Destiny. Yes, and I didn't. True. And now I'm trying to gauge with you why you wanted me to. I'm trying to gauge with you why. I don't, it doesn't feel like this conversation is going down a path of you understanding why I did that. It feels like more like you're just telling me I'm wrong, which is fine. If you don't, you think I'm wrong, that's fine. But I, I, here's what I don't like about these conversations. This feels a lot like the other conversations I've had about okay. the report. The other person is clearly defending Destiny and clearly critiquing the report and saying, I don't agree with it. And I don't like it. It's wrong. Um, not Andrew, but uh, Wick and Sunday. Um, but then they keep saying what they're doing is they're asking me questions about it, like they're trying to understand something. I guess Sunday wasn't doing it. Maybe it's just Wick. Maybe you're just reminding me of Wick. That you're saying that you're asking me questions to try to get what I think, but I don't. that's not what's happening. You're just saying what you think. Here comes the meta. And I'm, I'm sort of like on the back foot, like justifying myself. But like, you're not, you're not like, wow, so Max, this is totally different from your other work. So like, what made you feel this way? Because in my, you can even say in my interaction with Destiny, you seem like a totally, perfectly nice person. So it's kind I mean, of shocking. That's what I said. Yeah, but the way you're saying it doesn't doesn't lend itself to, like, you actually understanding anything. It just seems like, it doesn't even feel like you're talking to me. It feels like you're just talking to Destiny. It feels... I don't feel like we're having a conversation. I feel like you're just... Uh, okay, well, I, I don't see this as a problem with me. I think this is on you. I think this is you being okay. so subsumed in Destiny and this paranoia around Destiny that you see. It's not Destiny paranoia. He's literally watching the conversation and thousands of people are watching the conversation. Well, this is, it is essentially paranoia that's, that this is something that... That's, not, that's actually subject. happening. I don't think it's paranoia to say that it is possible that you are in a public conversation saying something more geared towards the gigantic audience that's watching than it is geared towards me as an individual, especially because I DM'd you this four months ago and you didn't respond. Jesus, and the, I'm only getting your response now that we're in public and thousands of people are watching, including Destiny. I don't think that's paranoia to say that this may not be, or that I don't feel that you're actually talking directly to me, especially when a lot of the things you're saying to me don't make any fucking sense. If you're saying them to me, they don't make sense. If you're saying them to just the audience, they make perfect sense. You're like, I don't know why you would say such a thing to me. Well, that makes sense. If you're saying it's it doesn't make sense to me, because you do know I'll get for I, it. I told you. I told you in the message. I said he's a sociopath and he wants to harm you. You're like, why would you tell me not to talk to him? I fucking told you why. Because I think he's going to hurt you. He made a declarative statement based with yes. absolutely no evidence presented to me of how he is a sociopath. Of I how he is yeah, I didn't, to try, I didn't try to prove to you that he's a sociopath in the message. I was just telling you. But doesn't he see how crazy that is? Imagine if you message someone and said, hey, this guy's a murderer. You shouldn't meet him. He's going to murder you. And you're thinking, what? Where's he getting that from? <laughs> Surely you would want to provide some evidence or some something. How much of his performance artist? Nowhere near as much as you may think. Yeah, a lot of this is very real from him. Look, if you don't think Thanks he's a sociopath, bucks. You know after Mr. reading the report, you either have different definitions of sociopath, of you're skeptical about the report, artist. or... No, those are the only two choices, I think. Wait, what did he just say? I think I saw this clip. You either have different definitions of sociopath, you're skeptical about the report, or... No, those are the only two choices, I think. Max is deciding the scope of what opinion you can have again. Good. Man, this is so fucking tragic, man. So you don't consider me an orbiter then? Maybe after today. This might be your christening. 
Oh my god. I think you're positioning yourself really well to become one. Jesus. I'm telling you, I don't think you should be doing this. I think you saw an opportunity. I think you saw an opportunity with our previously very, I think, pretty warm conversation. Mm -hmm. You knew I would be willing to talk to you. I didn't. You know I was actually you... very surprised when you responded to me. I didn't think you would. Oh, uh, well, I, uh, I respect you. And I like you. I enjoyed our first conversation. And I thought, I, I was interested to hear your thoughts. I, I don't know why you'd be surprised. I've always felt warmly toward you. Yeah, I guess I didn't know that. I think, uh, I, I think because... Uh, rapidly fading. Based on this oh, one no. conversation. Yes. Oh no, it's fading. It feels like you're taking a very, very painful ordeal for me. And uh, a gigantic undertaking that has taken up a lot of my life that I've paid dearly for and using it to try to springboard yourself into destiny's good graces. I, I think it, even if you're not doing it on purpose, I think it is quite um, wrong what you're doing to me. I don't think you should be doing this. But I don't feel like I'm doing it. So I still you. think it's going to. Well, I think you are. But I still think it's going to hurt you. So I'm being sure, sincere yeah. when I tell you. I, you might think this is a good idea, but I, I really don't think it is. I was interested in talking to you mainly because, well, I haven't spoken to you. Uh, I have felt bad about not responding to you and not being in contact with you. And I think I'm also just on holiday and just haven't had many people to speak to. And so uh, I think I've been a lot more active in sort of Twitter oh, and all of that. Oh, um, Jesus. Okay, this is well, not, at least in terms of my thought process, this has not been strategic in so far as trying to get into Destiny's good books. I had a conversation right. with Destiny. It wasn't terribly groundbreaking for either of us, I'm sure. Uh, he, we haven't spoken in DMs or anything like that. Um, I, sure. I don't think, I, I would not consider us even acquaintances. Uh, well, we maybe it's just once maybe, and that was yeah, that. It's, it's totally possible that you just coincidentally are doing the same thing. It is actually possible. Yeah. Okay, Kidology is like, she's got her own shit going on. Thank you for the 10 bucks. She is hot. Chud is a bear and Mr. Girl is a rat. This feels like projection. Like, it feels like this is how he views it. This is why every, every fucking one else gets the analysis of the Orbiter shit and you're doing it for this reason. Maybe that's just how he was doing it. Maybe that was his perspective. But everyone else is kind of like, I don't know. Kidology is nowhere near close to anywhere near Destiny Orbiter. She's got a whole own shtick going on, her own content. And people are interested in her for stuff way beyond anything to do with Destiny. I'm sure it's... I'm not saying that Mental. you were thinking, I just see this opportunity, so I'm going to backstab Max. I don't, I don't think that's what you're thinking, but... Um, I definitely so. don't know you well enough to backstab you, I assure you. Okay. And you most definitely don't know me well enough to know what I'm doing or thinking. I, I think that's a problem that, with the no, that No, I think that's what I'm trying to tell you, is that I don't know what you're thinking. You might have really good intentions. I'm trying to describe what you're doing. Ten I, don't, I don't think what you're doing is good. Empath moment. Mind reader. Oh man, the silence. The silence is deafening. Why have you decided not to speak to anybody else about the article? You said that sort of after, uh, well, you said that after yesterday. You're not going to speak to anybody else. The silence. Is there a reason for that? Um, I'll speak to, if Hassan wants to talk to me about the article, of course, I'll speak to him. I'll speak to gigantic streamers about it who are going to help me propel it into the mainstream, but all the conversations are the same. Do you think that's maybe telling of there being a common, a common recognition of an issue in the article as opposed to it just being the problem of brainwashed orbiters? I don't think it's... No, because the people I respect most in the world whose professional and personal opinions and personal and professional relationships uh, really like the article. The people who are in relationships close and far with destiny, acrimonious and friendly, are tainted. So I don't... I'm not, I'm, you, you are not one of my trusted readers. How the fuck can you say that someone that's got an acrimonious relationship with Destiny is tainted? That's crazy to me. Someone that doesn't like Destiny has got every reason to pick this shit up and run with it. Surely. That's why it's so shocking that none of the leftoids have, but anyway. Good Lord. Right, listen. Give me like a minute, okay? Give me one minute. I'll be back. Oh, that's, uh, that's definitely what people want to hear. Uh, okay. 
I mean, you started out by saying you don't think creators who actively tell their audiences to dox people can be held responsible for the behavior of their audience. So I just, no, I don't care. What you no, I didn't say you, 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 you gave that example. You gave that example of yeah, I know. I know. And as soon as you said that, I, I totally lost interest in your opinion of the article. I don't care what you think. Wow. I think this is your far, problem. You, you, you tend to sort of completely burn bridges based on sort of one thing that you may disagree with or completely sort of build like an entire friendship based on, say, our first conversation in which I probably said one thing that you agreed wholeheartedly with. And I don't think relationships Real world relationships cannot work or function in that way. Relationships are bloody messy, really messy, and really horrible, as is the example of Destiny's numerous uh, open relationships. Wait, I don't understand. Are you saying we, do we have a relationship or not? Because when you're saying I'm, I'm torturing our relationship over such a minor thing, but you're also at the same time saying we don't have much of a relationship. No, I'm going on what you said about uh, sort of well, okay, so I think we're holding me in like, sort I'm, of high regard and respect, uh, which I was surprised at because I thought that you know we just spoke. Yeah, well, I like your content, I like your tweets, and I enjoyed our conversation. And I, I don't know, I think one conversation is enough for me to have an opinion about somebody. And it's not a fixed opinion. Clearly, my opinion of you is changing right now as we speak. But I had a high opinion of you. And I thought, like, oh, this would be cool. Because I'm always looking for um, streamers that I can, like, really talk to, like, really relate to. It's hard. But I felt like I felt like we had a pretty honest conversation that I, I liked. And I was like, oh, well, we'll talk more. And then um, you were very hard to reach or communicate with. And then you asked me to talk again. And then I responded. You didn't respond. And I was like, oh, I get it. She's, like, one of those people who, like, freaks out about intimate relationships and is, like, really weird. Even though she wants to talk to you, she, like, for some reason, she, like, can't. Whatever. That's fine. I know people like that. Um, Destiny's kind of like that. I'm like, okay, that's fine. You'll uh, you'll let me know when you want to talk. Um, whatever. I wasn't going to DM you again. I saw you interacting with Destiny on Twitter, and I was like, I should probably warn her. So I did. Now here we are. And I feel that what you're doing in this conversation is wrong. I don't like it. And so I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying like I'm totally burning the bridge with you. I'm just saying I don't care about your... Once you say like you don't... The, okay, the report is about holding creators accountable for their behavior with their platform. So if you say, when I see a creator directly calls for his audience to dock somebody, I don't think that they, they're accountable for that. The report's not for you. I okay, right. You I don't care what you think about the report. I, I like I care like I care what you think about it in terms of like we're talking and I'm, I'm still interested in you and your opinion, but I don't care in terms of like what, what, how I'm going to if I'm going to rewrite it or something. Like you totally discount you've you've shown that you 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 don't even buy the premise of the report, which is that creators have responsibility, like period. So I don't like you're you know, you're not like on you're not in the brain trust. Wendy and my brain remember. trust likes the report. I think creators have a responsibility, but I think for you to be the moral arbiter of that and sort of the very um, absolutist moral standards that you are placing are doomed to fail. And I think it's just been proved by the response that you've been getting by this space, by people, people who even uh, don't regard Destiny in any high standing, like President Sunday, of all people. So I think that's telling of sort of this problem, a bigger problem that goes far beyond Destiny. But I think you've just honed in on the Destiny factor so hard, I think from a place of uh, I'd say paranoia and hurt. Oh, um, and hurt. Yeah, this is just like Wick. You're just saying the same stuff as Wick. I already had this conversation. Anyway, you asked me why I don't want, why I don't want to have these conversations because they feel all the same to me. The conversation you're pretending that we're having where you're like, this is so different from your other content. I want to understand why you did this. That is a conversation I wanted to have with you. That was interesting. I suspected since you didn't say anything, you probably were critical of it. But I was still curious to hear what you thought. That conversation would have been interesting, but that's not what we're doing. We can have that conversation. We can have whatever no, conversation you'd like. But every two seconds, you're telling me why I was wrong to write it oh. and how I'm not the right person to write it or how the report is wrong. I never like said that. Just... I never said you were the wrong person to write it. I never said that you were wrong to write it. I just have an opinion, a critique of it, which is uh, yes, what happens with any medium that you put out I'm, into the world. Yes, I'm saying your specific critique is that I'm wrong. No, my critique was that I couldn't get, I couldn't gauge with your voice when it came to, especially the transcripts that you would present and assume that we would be on the same page as you, as an audience member. Okay. Do you think you're? Do you think that I'm correct with my assertions in the report, or do you think that they're wrong? Am I being paranoid and thinking that you don't agree that Destiny is abusive with this platform, and that we need an overall of platform TOS to account for insidious actors like him? Do you agree with that? Do you think Destiny is abusive? I don't think that you or I are qualified to answer that question. I don't think we have the information, the actual information to that, which is Who very would be qualified? And very intimate. Who would be qualified? Do you think do you think his wife is qualified to answer that question? Hey, she says he's abusive. Points, Destiny himself good. says he's abusive. In relation to her, to Melina, yes. Is anybody qualified to say whether he is generally abusive? People who've known him or worked with him for years, a lot of them say he's abusive. Is Anna qualified to say he's abusive? Uh, based on what you presented in the article, I would say no. Is there anyone on earth who is qualified to say whether Destiny abuses his platform? Other than hey, Destiny. Hey, thanks for the Fucky McFuck became a member. No, I don't think so. 
how would one go about becoming qualified to make that judgment? Is it possible? That's why I don't, I don't think it is possible. It's not it possible not. for one individual to make such an assertion, to say such a thing, based on especially the very, uh, I'd say, lucrative evidence that you presented in some parts of your article or report. I think it's incredibly loaded. And I think in sure. the case of your article, it's very loaded on your moral principles, which yes. are uh, very difficult to abide by and very difficult to... Um, okay, so just to be clear. Technology is getting steamrolled. Wait, is that actually you, Andrew? <laughs> How's it going? Hope you're well. Clear, you're saying no one Not like can you, mate. No one can beat you. ...determine whether Destiny abuses his platform, and there is no way to become someone who can determine that. So are you... Are At you, this point this, in time, and from, from your vantage point, you as a, a streamer... I'm not talking about my, vantage, not, not from my yeah. not from my vantage point, just anyone. You said there is no one who is qualified to determine whether Destiny abuses his platform. Oh, no, I'm like a clinical psychologist or a forensic psychologist. Yes, sure. Okay, yes. But this okay. is not um, in... I mean, I don't know. I think, well, I think that Max is just, maybe to a new time viewer, people might, maybe, I don't know. I've just seen so many of these conversations and Max has got such just like weird behavior repeatedly now that I just look at it and I'm just like, this guy seems nuts. He seems like a fucking schizo. He's lost the plot. He's lost the plot. Okay. Sort of that scale of things. Okay. Okay. So, so a clinical psychologist who reviews Destiny's body of work, if they said he abused his platform, then you would agree. Or, no, not sorry, you wouldn't agree, but you'd say they are qualified to make the assessment. Yes, I think they would be far more qualified and have the expertise needed uh, or necessary to actually engage with and see if what he is doing and who he is is uh, in any way sort of pertains to narcissism, say, or to... Uh, no, no, I'm not talking... No, no, sorry, I'm not... I'm so sorry. I'm not talking about an assessment of his internal workings. I'm saying an assessment of whether the way he wields his power is abusive. But isn't that now, what this is all about? His internal workings. That is what no. this is about. You are making assessments based. You are sort of making assessments of his actions and saying that that pertains to him being a sociopath. No. That pertains to him being yeah, yeah, a morally so reprehensible, yeah, insidious the, person. Surely the, this the, is about what is going the, on within the destiny. Report, the report isn't really concerned with why he does what he does. He could just be stupid. I don't think he is, but what it's possible that he would make the same decision. Common. No one knows. Listen to Steph Dev. Sounds a bit anti-Semitic for my tastes. Thanks for the two bucks, though just because he's actually an idiot it wouldn't really change it from being abusive though like lenny lenny from of mice and men lenny kills that girl he could kill her on purpose because he's oh, he could kill her because he just <laughs> doesn't know his own back. strength and he's a really low iq Bro, the report is about destiny's behavior not why he engages in his behavior so i just want to understand you're saying that a, someone with a phd in psychology would be better suited to evaluate someone's use of their social media following because i would agree with you on this part they would be better suited to, to evaluate the in, impact on the victims so the people who say destiny made me want to kill myself we need a psychologist to understand if he's still harassing and directing his audience to harass those people after them saying that is that actually platform abuse or is he as he says just defending himself yes is that platform abuse and they come from a position yeah. of impartiality which is important which you can't come from sure and i think that's the most important thing in people being able to actually give credibility to what you are presenting it's very difficult when you don't come from that position of impartiality. I think most abuse claims and most whistleblowing comes from people who are close to the source and have been hurt by the actions of the person they're blowing the whistle on. I think it's very unlikely that a clinical psychologist is going to decide to devote four months of their life to doing interviews and research to write a report. Wait, hang on. Nah, this is bullshit. Here is more money. Thank you for the this five bucks. Normally how it works is the kind of people that come forward will go to a journalist or like if they want to talk about it will um, release a statement of their own abuse on Twitter maybe in the current day maybe that might happen you might collate stories into one video or something like that but it is extremely unusual that someone would be abused and then dedicate and and self um, and self appoint them the chief investigator of said abuser and then sport, spend four months digging into every aspect of their personal life in order to try and dig up whatever dirt they can find to prove the thesis they're abusive. But yeah, whistleblowers normally also tend to stay anonymous for as long as they possibly can too. Are you helping Destiny with his counter report on Mr. Girl? Uh, no, I've not spoken to Destiny about that at all. And, um, I probably wouldn't. I probably wouldn't if he asked.
Only because, like, that would just, to me, I don't want to be, like, in, involved in that level where it's like, oh, well, the Chud's going to help Destiny. It's like, it adds to the narrative. Do you know what I mean? I'm, if Destiny wants to do something, he can do it. But for me, I'm happy just covering the content and then calling it a day. Well, I say calling it a day. I for fucking wasn't going to cover this, and I am now because I got talked into it by chat. Like this. It's also very unlikely that the 30 sources I spoke to would speak to a random clinical psychologist who just appears in the community one day saying... If, if Destiny asked me questions, pointed questions about Mr. Girl, I may answer them. Um, but I wouldn't, like, help write the report or something like that. I'm, I'm writing a report for no reason. But then I, I, Max had some questions for me about it, and I answered... I, he asked me some direct questions. I answered them. And then I don't think that ever ended up in the report, obviously, because I didn't say anything particularly damning. Report about whether Destiny is abusive. So I agree that there, I guess there would be some, or maybe a lot of advantages to that. But I mean, a lot of what I'm writing about is my own abuse. You're saying I can't, I, I'm not qualified to call my own abuse abuse because I don't have a PhD. No, I didn't say that at all. This interview sucks. All these interviews suck. All right, well. You're saying I'm not qualified to say whether Destiny is abusive or abuses his platform. And you're not qualified because I guess we don't know him well enough. Yeah, yes. Yeah, I'm saying that. I don't think we're uh, qualified uh, either professionally or even just uh, personally in relation to Destiny. I think that uh, this is, I don't think, uh, I don't think we're impartial at all, uh, which is important in actually making such claims and such assertions about an individual. Uh, and especially, I think, the line between evaluating and assessing his behavior and its moral implications is very blurred when it comes to what you're saying. I can't really understand sort of how I'm meant to take, uh, how I'm meant to not sort of uh, believe in your moral assertions about Destiny's character based on what you're saying about his behavior. Uh, I find it very difficult to see where you're coming from there. Okay. Ignore this. Just test it's ignored. Off. Well, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Okay, well, I was interested in the format. Um, I was interested in, because uh, this is completely different to anything that you've ever done before, uh, at least in terms of what I've seen of your work. Do you think that this is a sort of format that you're going to continue with in your work going forward? 100,000 word reports? Mm. Uh, probably not. Rest in know. peace, if George Floyd. In, True. If in a web of abuse wait, wait, and wrongdoing wait. again, then probably. But I, 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 don't, I don't plan to allow that to happen to myself again. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's another streamer or any other streamers comparable to Destiny in your mind? Or is he the worst of the worst? No comment. I don't want to downplay the abuse of the victims or myself by saying there's someone worse. And I don't want to sound like a paranoid and delusional person by saying he is the worst. Jesus Christ. Wait, someone's at my door. In using this language of victims, do you think there is that clear line, that clear sort of dichotomy between the victim and destiny, the perpetrator? Is it, is it that clear? Yeah, it's that clear. So agency is completely discredited when it comes to these victims, their agency in terms of uh, their agency in their relationship with destiny, their actions in relation to destiny. Is that irrelevant? Yeah, because when you're describing somebody Pizza. as abusive, you're saying that the agency in, within the dynamic that is abusive, the agency of the person they're abusing is irrelevant. Okay, and so their retaliation, say, like their, um, for instance, um, sharing nudes of, uh, well, Destiny uh, in retaliation to something that Destiny did, that's an act of a victim, not of a uh, perpetrator? No, there could be overlapping dynamics in which one person is abusive in one instance and then in response to the other person is abusive. So, so like, the line isn't clearly, there is no clear. No, no, no they are. Like if Shailen, if Shailen punches me in the face, and then I throw a pot of boiling hot water on her. We've both been abusive. In her punching me in the face, I'm the victim. And me throwing the bottle, pot of boiling water on her, she's the victim. I think in both instances, one is clearly an abuser and the other is clearly a victim. But when it came or, to, uh, for instance, in the report, I believe it's uh, Blue T. I Blue think tea. Blue T. Yeah, sorry. Uh, oh, the, uh, you didn't read it. Back and forth of exposing nudes, uh, Destiny's nudes of his uh, genitalia, for instance, yeah. uh, because he'd shared um, images among his like uh, intimate friend group of two people. Well, one of, them, like, one of them emailed her and told her about it, so I don't know how intimate they were, but yes. Yes, but then to uh, then share to his thousands of followers. I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's just two people. Hair. I don't remember how many people were in the Skype call, so I don't want to be on record agreeing with you that it was just two. Okay. Um, I, I recall it being two in the article, but... Um, Maybe the 20 bucks. In that sense, for, the Rolex fund, for me at bling, least, bling, the idea of the victim and the perpetrator is not clear at all. That sounds like 
not yeah, an asset of somebody being an abuser and somebody being abused. It sounds like a very messy relationship of two people being very messy and something that goes public that really ought not to have. Because of stupid things that people do in relationships. Okay. Yeah, I get what you're. I get what you're, what you're saying. And that was what I felt with a lot of what you relayed in the report that this was an instance of just how absolutely messy and horrible people can be to each other in relationships, and that the line between victim and abuser was not as clear cut as I felt you were imploring me as a reader to see it as being. And that's where I find it very difficult to um, to empathise with your position and what you are saying and are you, and what you're trying to. Uh, sort of convince, not me specifically, but I guess uh, your audience, your target audience, uh, to see. Okay. Yeah, you said that pretty early on at the outset. You, you just think these are messy relationships. So the report is about the abusive behavior of destiny within those relationships. It's the report is not going to exonerate the behavior of everybody the else. The Kevles meme. Um. By the way, I saw a clip, a clip of Kevles. Is Kevles streaming again? RLX is a British thing. Feels weird, man. I don't think they are, are they? I saw a clip of Kefels, or is that an old one? So, um, if I were writing a report about Blue Tea, I might even include the same story. Like logging into someone's Twitter account and tweeting out their nudes isn't. Um, Would you consider that abusive? No, what you're supposed to do. Would you consider that abusive? Logging into I don't know. Twitter. I don't really know enough about. Um, their relationship, but, but you don't. <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, what? What? I don't know enough about any of his relationships. Oh, okay. See, like, it, doesn't like it doesn't feel like you're asking me questions. It feels like you're just saying you disagree with the report because you asked. I thought I was going to answer your no, question. I'm trying about to. What? I'm trying to go deeper into this. I can't. I can't you're just pretend agree with you. No, you want you me don't to agree you, with me. You want me to ask you questions that you've got in mind uh, based on no, no. your. If someone leaked my nudes to their friendship group in, on a Skype call or something. And my response was to log into their 30,000 Twitter account and go, look at this bitch's pussy, <laughs> right? I mean, that'd be clear cut to me. I've engaged in like an abusive action or something. I don't know, it's just wild to me. It just feels like a constant downplaying of the actions of anyone that's done something against Destiny and Destiny's actions get upplayed to the worst possible thing. Again, very clearly to me from the outside looking in from this at this point, it's like, seems pretty obvious that that is rooted in his own personal experiences and negativity with Destiny over anything else. But yeah. Kidology is tearing him apart and he hates it. Thank you for the two bucks. Idea of what you've presented is there, is there a question about Blue Tea sharing his nudes? What's the question? Is it abusive? Yes, I did ask you. I asked you. Yes, do you think that think that's so. abusive? I think so. I don't know enough about the relationship or the power dynamics to say for sure, but I think so. Yes, and then I elaborated and was saying, like, this is the thing. I don't think that we know enough about I know. these relationships. Said, I know. I know. You said that. So her sharing his nudes Here we go. He's does not exonerate now. him threatening to destroy oh. her scholarship, and it doesn't exonerate him sharing her nudes. But does it undermine this idea of this clear divide between the victims and no, destiny? Because, no, because you're, the divide is between their behavior in a dynamic. Like I gave an example with Shaylin punching me in the face. She's victimizing me. And if I pour boiling hot water on her, I'm victimizing her. In one instance, she's abusive. In the other, I'm abusive. Now, if you were writing a report about me as a, a violent abuser, you would, of course, include this story. If you were writing a report about Shaylin as a violent abuser... You Ludwig's got a video about Fansley. No way. I'm, probably, I'm not going to have time to watch it today because I'm going on Adam and Sitch soon. But, uh, yeah, I'll be covering that when I come back on Friday. Don't you worry. We'll be getting to that in plenty of time. You would, of course, include this story. We're, this is a story in which both of us will be violent and abusive. But you're stuck on this, like, averaging out of, like, overall as a person who is the abuser and who is the victim. It's not about that, though. It's about, it's about the dynamics. So if there's stories about 10 or 15 different women who I poured pots of boiling hot water on, and then I have this, I'm like, well, Shaylin punched me in the face. This other girl kicked me in the balls. This other girl knocked over my TV while I was playing Super Smash Brothers. This other girl crashed my car. Like, I could have an excuse for every time I did that. But if you're like, Max has a pattern of abusive violence, he pours boiling hot water on 15 women. Then I, like, that report would be about my propensity to do this horrible behavior. And the context surrounding the behavior in each instance is relevant to each individual instance. But to point out that the, the trend overall is like, Max is a crazy person who pours boiling hot water on women. It doesn't really matter that much. 
So yeah, you can go into any story and you can understand Destiny's motivations for why he's behaving the way he behaves. But the trend I'm trying to show is that when Destiny feels threatened, he reaches for the mob. He reaches for his platform to strike back against his perceived enemies. Mm -hmm. And often that those perceived enemies are people he is either in or has been in sexual relationships with, which in my mind makes him more abusive. Okay. Um... So going through and pointing out the bad behavior or how shitty each victim, nobody deserves to be treated that way. That's why we call it abuse. No one deserves to be punched in the face. No one deserves to have boiling hot water thrown on them. It's abuse. Sharing nudes and mocking somebody is abusive. Somebody's Threatening somebody's scholarship is abusive. That's not the appropriate channel to address a, an issue like that. The appropriate channels are... Based on our standards of relationships, this is a very different kind of relationship. This is a public... Destiny has been very clear. I've heard him say numerous times that his relationships are public, that they're not sort of a, a private thing, that it's sort of like a, it involves everyone in a weird sort of way, uh, at least the sexual elements of it, the physicality of all of that. So there's very different dynamics and very different uh, rules to this relative to what we would apply to relationships, I feel. I don't agree at all. I think that's just an excuse to use his, to involve his, yeah, he feels safer when he has his fucking cult that he can sick on you when you do something he doesn't like or say something he doesn't like. He shouldn't be blending his public and private relationships like that. It lends itself to abusive Who's situations. Who's to say that he shouldn't though? I'm just, I'm playing he, devil's advocate with that. Uh, I think it lends I'm, itself to a lot of abusive situations where people are, be, are not just privately Again, here's being more abused, standards. but they're being publicly humiliated and dogpiled and their reputations are being smeared. Listen, I've only got like 30 minutes left to cover this, so I need to get through it as quick as I can. But again, it's like, he's got the moral standard, you shouldn't do this. And I, you know, I think that like, I wouldn't do it and I'd advise others not to do it. But if Destiny wants to do it, that is ultimately his decision. And there's no moral imperative beyond, well, there isn't. This isn't a moral imperative for him to do anything like that. Because of interpersonal problems Destiny has with them. It's not an appropriate use of his power. It'd be like, it'd be like Trump sending the Secret Service to investigate somebody because they hurt his feelings. It's not, you shouldn't, you shouldn't settle personal scores with your gigantic platform. And the blue tea story is included. I mean, it'd be weird to leave it out, but the blue tea story is included to show that this is one of the earlier times that he did that. But he's still doing it. Okay, I feel we're going around in circles. Uh... True. Yeah, I think I'm. I'm still uh, inclined to see this as. As I said, very messy relationships, but I do believe yeah. with the uh, you think I'm everybody wrong? involved yeah. has hey. gotten involved you on. You can leak my n underscore day anytime. Wait, Chad Logic X Kidology. Thank you for the nine ninety nine. Oh, it is you. Okay, it is you. Hang on a minute. Wait, you need to be careful of those memes because Jesus Christ, people are talking. People have been talking. Anyway, I hope you're doing well. On their own accord and their own agency, and I do. Um, I think Jesus. the messiness and uh, the uh, drama of it is known. Okay. What the fuck? Well, now we know what you think. Again, there are no nudes. There are no nudes, okay? There are no nudes. Okay. It sounds like you already know what, what I fuck? think. fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. That these relationships are abusive, uh, that Destiny ought to use his platform uh, far more effectively and far more ethically than he has. Yeah. Welcome to the Orbiters Club. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Calm down, everyone relax. Another silence. God, it's so insufferable now. Max's little silent moments. Do you understand how the section of conversation we just had, you said, I said, if you have any questions for me, I'm happy to answer them. And you said, you asked me maybe one or two, but the bulk of the, the bulk of the section of conversation we just had was you telling me why I'm wrong. Do you concede that that is what just happened? No, I don't. Because I wasn't telling you that you were wrong. I was just offering a different perspective, my perspective, okay. my critique agree? that I had when I was reading your article. Do you agree that the bulk of this section of conversation we just had was you telling me why you don't agree with my article? You saying what my article said, and then you saying why you don't agree with it. Do you agree that's mostly what just happened? 
since I said, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Mostly it was you telling me that what I said in my article, you don't agree with. No, I asked you questions. I explicitly asked you questions. You, you answered did. some of them, not all of them. And then I would critique your answers because that is how discourse happens. I'm not saying it's not how discourse happens. I'm saying, do you concede that most of what just happened was you telling me why you don't agree with either my answers or what I wrote in the article? No, I don't concede that. Okay. No, I think I was more interested in you elaborating on what you had written because as I said, I felt that I didn't, I didn't hear your voice through you what you had it. written. You can hear it and now. So trying to get, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm trying to get now. It doesn't feel like you are. It feels like every time I start to tell you what I think, you start telling me why you think something different and why what I think isn't true. No, no, I, I, so that, that second I, qualifier, I'm not trying to do. I'm, I'm not saying you're I, I don't think, I don't think you're trying to do this. My experience, well, the reason I'm very frustrated by this conversation is because you're saying we're doing one thing, but my experience is that we're not doing that thing. I don't, you keep saying you're trying to understand or trying to elucidate what I think and hear my voice. But every time there's a moment where I might do that, you tell me that I'm wrong. I do. Man. And so if you I were telling me- you were wrong. I know, you have not used the word wrong. I think that's shorthand for saying that you are disagreeing with what I'm saying or disagreeing with what I wrote and explaining why you disagree. I don't have a problem with you disagreeing, but what's frustrating is when you're telling me you're, you're trying to understand what I think, but actually the bulk of the interaction is you telling me why you don't agree with what I think. Those are different things. So if you said, Max, I want, to, I want you to come on stream and I'm going to tell you why I don't agree with your article. I probably wouldn't have agreed to the conversation, but and then I would, it would line up with what's happening. But what you're saying you're doing doesn't line up with what's happening. So I, it's very frustrating. I don't like being told that I'm being asked open-ended questions to, so you can try to understand my perspective when really it feels like you're just giving explanations of how you, I mean, you, even, even prefacing, even before you've asked me the questions, you tell me I'm not qualified to say the things that I'm saying in the, in the report. No, specifically the idea of abuse, uh, the idea of being a narcissist or know. sociopath, those things your, specifically. Your questions are about, but that's what your questions are about. So you're like, because you don't have a PhD, you're not qualified to say what abuse is. And then I'm like, okay. And then you're like, so do you think Erudite, also known Destiny Orbiter. Um, Erudite calls this meta litigation. Matt's continually trying to go back and reframe former sections of the conversation. I like that term though, meta litigation. That's a good one. I've never seen meta litigation as crazy as I have with Max. Most people can get to the conversation and move forward, but yeah this is wow. abusive and I'm like well yeah and you're like well I don't even though I also don't have a PhD in psychology I'm qualified to say that I don't I don't think this, this is abusive I think it's just messy relationships which is the first thing you said when I got in here so I'm like where why are you qualified to say it's not abuse and when am I going to get a like just stop pretending that you're asking me questions because you're not you're okay just, yeah no but the just, difference between what we're saying is that I'm saying that I think you, you're, just set up for you you're saying that it is this thing that's the difference you're saying it's not no, I'm saying I think that these are oh, okay. basic relationships. Sorry. There's a difference between is, what you're yeah, saying I think it is regards to this being abuse you're on regards to being a sociopath everyone going to cause me harm yes I think it didn't happen no, but, <laughs> it's happening right now. No, but that's you said that he will cause me harm, that he will do me harm. You said yes. that he is a sociopath, that he yes. is abusive. Okay, so sorry. From now on, whenever I say anything, just put I think before it. And you'll understand that I this is not a formal diagnosis when I'm DMing you and saying Destiny is a sociopath. I don't have a PhD in psychology. I'm not aware of any formal diagnosis that he has received. I just think he's a sociopath. To my critique about the format of this conversation. Wait. Adam is such late. If they're late, I'm gonna listen. I'm trying to rush through this so I can be ready to speak to them. Are they normally late? Which again, feels like mostly you saying why you don't agree with me or why I shouldn't, I'm not qualified to say what I'm saying. That feels like what's happening to me. So we may not be able to agree on what's happening in the conversation. That's what it feels like to me. You keep saying that the conversation is, or parts of it, are you wanting to know what I think about this? And I, I don't feel that. I don't feel that you do wanna know what I think. I feel that you tell me. wanna tell me that what I think isn't right. Okay, well, if they're late, we're going to spend the extra time we've got. I'm going to spend the extra time I've got shilling super fucking hard. That's what I'm going to do. I'm doing exactly what anybody would do when presented with an Maybe argument. And don't you think it's... No, I don't know that anybody would say, I'm just trying to understand more about what you think. I think there are people who feel like what you say, what you're saying you feel, I think would approach the conversation more like, listen, I, um, I have to push back on you about this report. You know, I've enjoyed your other work, but I think you really missed the mark here. And I, I have some tough questions I want to ask you about this. And I have a lot of criticisms I want to give you. Then the rest of what you're saying would really fit with that. But to keep framing it as like, I just don't hear your voice and I just want to understand what you think. It doesn't feel like that's what's happening. I understand if you're saying the reason you don't want to just let me say what I think without um, uncontested. 
um, is because you, you don't feel like it's responsible or you feel like you need to make it clear to the audience that you disagree um, after everything I say, then like maybe that's what's going on. I don't know. But it just does what you're saying doesn't feel like it's lining up with um, what you're saying you're doing. And it's really frustrating. Do you think in the same way that with uh, sort of Destiny's behavior and his actions, you sort of see this uh, sort of... Oh my God. Thoughts on Mew Kitty? Your submission in Assam Pika contained a link to a banned YouTube channel. Jesus Christ. So Mew Kitty is a banned YouTube channel on a sub subreddit. Fuck me. Why? Has he not watched the video? Has he not has he watched reacted to it? Pattern or display of that pattern of sort of uh, the same behavior. Do you think that in the same way that sort of the majority of your interviews with people have gone systematically uh, badly um, and most definitely have caused you a lot of frustration. Do you think that that's representative of sort of a pattern of uh, behavior on your part? Uh, that that's sort of reflective of something that is maybe not to do with the people who are interviewing you and trying to engage and critique you um, and critique your work and what you've done, but something to do with uh, your own response, your own behavior, your own um, I guess, lack of empathy for trying to reach a compromise as opposed to all of us somehow seeing the world from Max's perspective, through Max's eyes, um, and then you getting frustrated that we're not seeing the world through your eyes. Okay, before I answer that question, and I'm glad you asked it, do you see why you might feel like you just asked me a question, but I might feel like you just gave me a criticism? From my perspective, that was barely a question at all. It was mostly just you saying, that I don't understand conversations and that I'm blinded by myself. I'm genuinely interested in your answer to that. It was a question. The answer is no. It was a yes or no question, right? Do I think that it might be this other thing? No, I don't think that. I could expand upon it more though, if that's not satisfying to you. Oh, please do, please do, yes. M uh, most people are hesitant to point out what is happening in a conversation because it's rude and weird. This, oh, uh, have you seen the girl with the dragon tattoo? No, I haven't. Okay, there's a scene where a guy, uh, the main character finds out who the killer is. And the killer invites him into his house. And uh, I, I've talked about this before, but it still really sticks out to me. And the main character just feels too awkward to say no, so he just agrees. And the guy pulls a gun on him and he's like, he's like, you knew, you knew. And I, you, I knew you knew and you knew I knew you knew. And yet, you couldn't say no. You'd rather die than be rude. And I think a lot of us have that impulse. And you can use the fact that a lot of us have that impulse to push people around. You can call something an interview, and you can call something a question, and then just make it a long-winded critique, basically. I mean, what did you just say? You just said like a bunch of really scathing things about me, so I don't have empathy. You, you implied that I'm paranoid, and I'm delusional, and I'm, I'm chasing ghosts. You've said a lot of like really harsh, negative things about Based. me that you're as a non just fucking it like it and is. As long as you say you're asking a question and you say this is an interview, you say, well, I'm just catching up with you. I just want to know, I know, I just want to hear your voice, Max. As long as you say these things, then there's this pressure on me, like I'm beholden to not say like, no, that's not what you're doing. That's not what's happening. Now, a lot of streamers have caught on to this. Streamers, what kind of person wants to sit behind a desk with the, say, all the safety? You got the camera, you got the chat, you have all this distance. They're not the most intimate. Um, they don't know how to navigate intimate relationships as a, as a general group. I'd say this is a trend I've noticed. Um, I fell into streaming by accident. It's not really my preferred method of content creation or interacting with other people. But a lot of streamers are like, oh, I just want to hide behind my desk and have total control over all my interactions with other people. So a lot of conversations turn into these power struggles. Streamers are very conflict avoidant, but they're still struggling for power. So they use a lot of underhanded tactics to gain power, like I believe you yourself are using in this conversation. So oftentimes, the streamer is doing something that does not match up with what they say they are doing. And this is also true for normal people. It's just exacerbated with streamers. The only way to get power back from somebody who is underhanded like that is to point out what they're doing um i don't know if you right. noticed uh, if you watched destiny stream yesterday so this is the meta this is the meta thing he's doing the meta thing because he's trying to point out what people are doing as underhanded power grabs i mean to me if you know i think you could argue that the meta constant meta discussion is also itself att attempts to can wrest power wrestle power away for to control the conversation but I don't know, man. I don't I'll know. I'll argument with Pisco about the DDoS kit. 
And Destiny, Pisco kept pointing out what Destiny was doing. He's like, oh, you're yawning. Oh, you're not answering the question. Oh, you're pretending you think this is funny. You're pretending, whatever. He's constantly just nailing it, thing after thing after thing after thing, saying like, no, you can't get away with that. I'm going to point out whatever you're doing. And like, yeah, the, the chat was kind of shitting on him for doing that because you're supposed to just allow Destiny to get away with that. And I'm supposed to just allow you to get away with that. But I, I don't want to. So the reason a lot of my conversations, from my perspective, go get derailed is when other people are not good at open conflict. They're not comfortable with it. You're not comfortable with conflict. You're not comfortable with somebody just being directly angry at you or you directly expressing that you're angry at somebody else. You don't like that. That's not how you operate. You're more comfortable with like underhanded power plays, and from my perspective. Underhanded but, power plays. Very good. By pointing out these underhanded power plays, I can drag you into open conflict where ev you lose a lot of power there because you're one, you're not good at it, and I am. Two, um, it makes what's happening more apparent, which benefits me because I, I think I'm being more direct and honest in the conversation than you are. And um, three, I, it just like kind of ungaslights me. I feel, I feel gaslit by people saying they're doing one thing and then doing another. I know it's very normalized, but I really can't stand it. So I end up making a lot of meta comments. And then people feel cornered by those meta comments because they don't want to admit what they're doing or they genuinely don't believe that they're doing what they say they're doing. But then we can't agree to disagree. Like, I think you might survive this step in this conversation because you might say, okay, well, you think I'm doing that. I don't think I am. Let's move on. Some people can handle that. Other people can't. They just freak. God, this, this is just not how regular people talk and interact with each other. I mean, certainly online in the internet, there are kind of unusual dynamics that occur in conversation tactics and stuff but this kind of endless pointing out of not only what has happened and what is happening and now he's pointing out what's going to happen well we're not maybe with you it's going to be different and you're going to do this like, fuck man just <laughs> <laughs> oh. freak out they just need they need me to think the same thing about them that they think about themselves some people can't literally can't emotionally tolerate somebody else thinking an opinion about them that they don't share and then the conversation is destroyed at that point. That is my view of why a lot of my um, discussions go off off the rails. If the discussion is an interview, like with Wick, Wick was interviewed with me, that if it, if it goes off the rails and you kick your interviewee because he won't stop talking about what he thinks, that what what better proof that it wasn't really an interview to begin with than that? To me, that proves that the interview with Wick was not actually an interview. It was I don't know what it was, but it was something else. Because in an interview, the interviewee should be able to just kind of like speak freely and, and answer questions. Um, pushback, context given by the interviewer saying, hey, just so you guys know, I don't agree with this. That's totally fine. But yeah, so. That's what I think. Uh, that's what I think is happening in those conversations. So he's really committed to this idea that an interview has to be a strict interview, and the kind of pushback that can be given is, "I don't agree with this." Do you remember the question Max is answering? No, I don't. I've got no clue. I am so down the track now. I've got no fucking idea what the point even was, what the discussion point was, where we are, what's going on, where we're going to go to next. It is exceptionally confusing. But the viewers are not super savvy either, so they don't they don't get what I'm talking about, I think. They're like, oh god, here comes another meta conversation. It's like, yeah, it's because I talk to a lot of underhanded, manipulative people who try to pull shit, and when you point out what they're pulling, they freak out, and it takes forever for them to say, like, oh yeah, I guess that wasn't really a question. That was more me just giving, like, a critique about your mental health. That wasn't a question. You're right. Most people aren't willing to do that. So it takes a long time. So would you say that I'm an underhanded, manipulative person? Is that what you're... Are you saying that? You're in it. You're in it. Uh, you are doing that right now. That's not fair to characterize you overall that way. I think you're conflict avoidant, and you probably just mostly withdraw. But when cornered, you're in an unusual situation right now. You're talking to me, but you're talking to me while being watched by somebody I'm telling you I think is a dangerous sociopath with a ton of power and, a, and an army ready to harass people. And I don't know you that well, but you don't strike me as somebody who would enjoy. Nobody likes being harassed. But you strike me as somebody who would be particularly off put. Like you were freaked out that people were like calling you or like trying to join our call. Imagine that, but times ten million. I don't think. I, I don't think you like it. So you're in just kind of a weird position where it makes sense to me that you are making power plays. I just don't want you to make them at my expense. So I'm not trying to evaluate who you are as a person. I think I, if you want to gnaw your own leg off to get away from destiny. I will, I will fully support that decision. So I think that people in, in relationships and situations around destiny probably end up acting in ways that do not represent their character fairly, which is why I want Brittany Simon to unblock me. I'm like, dude, we were in a bad situation. All right. I said things that, that I regret that hurt you. You said things that you don't regret that hurt me, whatever. Like, fuck, people are not their best selves when they're under this kind of pressure. So I, it was unfair of me to say that. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think of you as a manipulative person overall. I think of you as flighty. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I was trying to protect you. Oh I guess you are the audience for the report. I said it earlier. I want I want people to read the report and know that they shouldn't get close to Destiny. Oh, not, so now she's the audience. Thing, okay, so, based. I'm not close to Destiny at all. Uh, I really am not. If you, uh, I doubt I'll ever be. Uh, okay, but I didn't. You don't. You don't seem to. 
have been like warned. I mean, I've always made it clear that I'll talk to anyone. I mean, my subscribers didn't want me to talk to you uh, at first. Uh, I happily spoke to you. Uh, yeah. And even now, um, a lot of them didn't want me to speak to you today. Uh, still did. Um, Why don't they want you to speak to me today? Uh, you know what everybody says about you. You're uh, unhinged, uh, unstable, uh, obsessed with destiny. Uh, oh. Your article's terrible. There's no point in talking about it. You're irrelevant, all of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, are that, that sounds like uh, a lot of Destiny fans would be saying that. Are they your audience now? No, I mean, my audience has actually decreased. Uh, I've been uh, losing subscribers uh, systematically for a while, so um, no, no. Uh, I what don't what actually... percentage of your audience do you think are Destiny fans at this point? 0.01% probably. Um, I did not gain any of Destiny's uh, followers after appearing on his stream. Uh, if anything, I think that they just, because uh, we had a conversation about uh, my celibacy and they didn't believe. Yeah, Tony, I've heard word of the, the hit piece. Apparently there's going to be a counter, a counter document coming out in regards to Max. And I'm sure, I'm sure there's going to be an interesting piece of content to react Me. to. Um, I think that frustrated them. Uh, Cause uh, so yes, yes. I definitely didn't make an impression on them, um, which was fine. Uh, it was very neutral. Uh, as yeah. I said, I don't think they loved me or hated me. Uh, I was just another person who just appeared on the stream. Um, and I, would believe that in future, if I were to go on the stream, it would be the same. Um, I definitely, uh, yeah, yes. Uh, I had no qualms with Destiny in the same way I had no qualms with you. Uh, and uh, it was- Yeah, it was I, I, really, I really think that Max is massively overestimating Kidology's connection to Destiny because Kidology has had like, well, over, easily over 100,000 subs before I ever interacted with Destiny and sort of taps into the, well, I don't really know how I'd describe her, but, you know, she's got, like... I quite liked her videos about the lefty stuff. I thought she made some pretty good takes there. But, yeah, she seems to be tapped into, like, a very different audience to whatever it is that Destiny is doing, right? Interesting. And it was interesting insofar as sort of... Uh, at least when he did start speaking to me, um, I was under the impression that um, something bad might happen. Uh, and, I mean, it didn't. So uh, I think that was also why I was interested in talking to you about that. Uh, as Jean yeah. Gage Wick more than Destiny. Okay. Well, I stand by my statements. I don't. I think you should distance yourself. I think if you get an invitation to discuss this on his stream, I think you should decline it politely and just drift away. Nearly over. It's nearly over. I think you know that I believe that conversation and discourse is the only way to move forward in anything in a desired direction of some kind of resolution to these things because surely that's what we want from this do you think that somebody comparing interior photos of your house to recent real estate listings in your area and then posting your address on the internet is a conversation that wouldn't be the conversation that i would have i'm saying if you don't want things like that to happen to you i suggest you keep your distance Jesus Christ, he has fucking lost it. Is that a Destiny fan that's done that? That sounds more like Kiwi Farms tier shit. Not, not, that, not saying that that happens to everybody. Just that popped up in my head when you were like, why don't you want it to... It felt like you're saying I'm anti-conversation. I'm not anti-conversation. I'm anti-harassment and abuse. I'm not saying the conversation is going to hurt you. I'm saying if you talk to him and you get involved with him, other things might happen to you that are not conversation. People reading URLs on your screen and then frantically trying to join your calls, for example. <laughs> That's just trolling. Man, that is just classic trolling. If you, Oh my God, man. Come on. No more comedy or memes allowed. No more trolling. You've got to be super serious. Do not, if someone accidentally leaks it, do not try and join the call because that is harassment and abuse. That's not conversation. That's weird that that happened. I know a it's lot of funny. it's because of me, but still. He's been crushed and broken by the internet, I find this it man. Awful. And I think you should find it unnerving. And I think you should back away slowly. But you're not, that's fine. That's just, I just am explaining why I damned you that. So my, my stance hasn't changed. That's my recommendation. Well, thank you for your recommendation. You're welcome. Is there anything you'd uh, like to ask? Uh... No. Okay. <laughs> the 
look at look at this. It's so nuts, man. This is fucking nuts. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Yeah. Nor I yours. Well, it's been a pleasure talking to you. I know you may not believe me when I say that, but uh, it's always a pleasure talking to you. Very interesting. Uncomfortable, but uh, interesting. <laughs> Uncomfortable, but interesting. Well, I can't say the same. I did not expect you to say the same. Oh my god. So awkward. All right. Bye, Z. Goodbye, Max. Take care. You too. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is this ending, man? Jesus. What the fuck? Oh my gosh, it's two o'clock in the morning. There we go. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> right. <clears throat> if somebody doesn't make a movie about Max, I will be shocked, uh, I think. <laughs> right, uh, let's call Destiny. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, that was... Um, that was an experience. Uh, that was an experience. Uh, <laughs> how is everybody doing? Oh, How's goodness. Uh, Damn. That was crazy. Anyway, we're going to wrap it up there. I'll link the rest of it if you want to watch Kidology's Super Chats, whatever she does from here. But for now, 